When I was a child, I didn't speak until I was four years old. My mother worried that I might be a fool. Oh, clearly you were not a fool. Even so, that makes a wonderful starting point for our discussion of the tarot's fool card. Yes. In the tarot, the fool is anything but foolish. I'm sure you are acquainted with the classic Rider weight version of the card. Of course. In the classic weight design, a young man stands at the top of a cliff, eyes turned toward heaven, apparently unaware of the fact that he's standing on the edge of oblivion. He simply follows his heart and trusts that his feet will carry him wherever he needs to go. In fact, according to one mystical tradition that equates the fool with the element of air, he won't fall when he steps off the cliff. Instead he'll float, or fly, or soar on the wings of his imagination. The fool wears a feather in his cap, which is a sign of honor and accomplishment, as well as a symbol of the air he represents. He also wears a colorful tunic, emblazoned with orange circles that represent the spheres of the Kabbalistic tree of life. He cinches his tunic with a belt made up of the seven planets of ancient astrology, which in turn corresponds to the seven days of the week. He holds a rouse in his left hand, symbolizing passion. He balances a walking stick in his right hand, and he has tied a pouch to the end of the stick, like a hobo. Some tarot readers say the fool's bag holds memories, lessons, and souvenirs of a previous life, which makes it, in effect, karmic baggage. Still others suggest that the fool's bag contains the breath of life, which he uses to animate the world around him. Some say the bag contains tokens from the four suits of the minor arcana, a wand, a cup, a sword, and a pentacle. The four tokens will serve as tools for his journey. Some even say he carries an entire tarot deck in his bag. The little white dog nipping at the fool's heels is a loyal companion, defender, and guide. The dog's warning bark can save lives. The dog often represents instinct, a primal form of intuition. Sometimes, the little dog also symbolizes the conscience. He could even symbolize the societal standards that help us reign in our most outlandish behavior. The mountains in the distance represent obstacles to be overcome, new heights to be scaled, new challenges, and the promise of accomplishment. A bright white sun fills the corner of the card, flooding the scene with the light and energy of a higher power. It represents guidance from a consciousness that's greater than our own.